a new intro, eh? Yeah? Anyways, what is up guys? So this is a minimalistic mindset type of video that I don't see a lot of people talking about or bringing to light, so I thought I would, and I think it's very important. I think it's a way to just refresh and detox the stress and your mindset, which is very healthy, and this is all about the small things in life. So have you ever noticed that life just gets in the way sometimes? What do I mean by that? I mean that our culture is a very busy culture. And I put that in quotations because I think as a culture, we use the term busy very loosely. I think people use that term a lot or too much because it makes them feel productive and it makes them feel good about themselves. So they always say they're busy, like I'm busy, busy, busy. I'm just too busy to do anything. And I just, I think that just makes them feel good about themselves when really who's busy 24 seven? I don't know, but anyways, that just puts a lot of pressure, I think, on everybody as a culture or society because if you're not busy, then you're just wasting your time and that just puts a lot of pressure, especially on me, because trying to occupy myself 24-7, trying to be busy is just very difficult and I also think that it gets in the way of something that is also very important in life, which is the small things in life. Now, what is the small things in life, you might ask? In my definition, the small things in life is the things or aspects of life that go unnoticed and you have to consciously notice them for them to stand out. In my definition, of course. And when it's a 24 seven work, 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 or a I'll sleep when I'm dead mentality, then the small things are just non-existent in that lifestyle. Honestly, I don't like to work all the time. And there's some days I don't have anything to do, and that's okay. I don't think being busy all the time is a very healthy lifestyle, at least it is for me. I don't think it's a healthy lifestyle for any creative out there, at least. You have to have time to breathe and think and refresh your mind and refresh your body, and that 24-7 lifestyle is just not healthy at all. So with all that being said, what I'm really trying to say is how do we appreciate just the small things in life and what even are the small things? Well, here's just a few examples of things that I notice in my daily life that I wouldn't have noticed if I just didn't think about it subconsciously and make an effort to think about these things. And some of the ones in my life are one thing I do is I play music from my phone and lean it out my window so maybe someone walking by might hear it as well in the morning and it just brightens up their day or anything like that. Or how the morning light casts right on the seat I read every morning. It looks so beautiful. Or how one turn of the knob I can make my shower water temperature perfect without adjusting anymore. Or how this coffee makes it halfway around the world and into my hands and having a flower shop on the route to the coffee shop to smell every time I ride by it. Or saying hi to the thieves that stand outside every day by my apartment. They're actually really nice. They stand outside because I think they chose that over going to jail to publicly humiliate them, but I just say hi to them every time and it's fun. <laughs> or this plant that somehow stays alive by only being in this beaker of water. It's incredible, I don't get it. Or no matter what day it is, the tulips still open their petals every single day, no matter what. Or the feeling of the warm sun directly hitting my skin and even taking blurry photos. Those can be truly some of the best photos without even realizing it. You might overlook the blurry photos to get to the sharp ones, but sometimes the blurry photos tell a whole story in themselves. Or how this egg, the single egg, has six grams of protein. So there's a lot of things out there to enjoy and to notice that you don't get to if you're just trying to be busy all the time and trying to be the best whatever in life. And honestly, life goes on no matter what happens. The birds still chirp, the sun still rises. Life still goes on even if you have a bad day. And honestly, that takes a lot of pressure off of me. And it just feels great knowing that no matter what I do, life still goes on. Life isn't revolved around me. Life does not follow what I say it does. The days still go on, no matter what happens, and that's okay. Anyways, 
This is a more minimalistic mindset towards things that I don't see people taking a lot of action on, so I thought I'd bring light to it in this little video that probably only a couple hundred people will see, but I urge you to think the same way sometimes if you ever have a free hour or second in the day, just think about the things that you don't notice that really matter in life. Just take a detox in the mind and just take less stress. Life isn't supposed to be stressful, I don't think. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. It was just Easter. I hope you had a great Easter. I had a great Easter. I went to six services for church, and it was incredible. Six, I know. Anyways, I will see you guys Friday. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Thank you guys so much.